Hello everybody and welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. If you are new here, welcome. We talk about all things digital planning, iPads, iPhones, organization, Apple Pencils, and all the things. If that interests you, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified of our new videos. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. That does help our channel out a lot. And now to get into this. So funny story, I filmed a video yesterday and scheduled it to post today at 10 o'clock and it was all about GoodNotes 5.5, uh, about the collaboration feature. And if you're interested in that video, it did go live today at 10, but we actually had two videos to go live today because last night, GoodNotes did a sneaky trick to me and they updated to 5.6. <laughs> so I wanted to go ahead and post the video all about collaboration, but this is a completely separate video and it is about their brand new release that was released late last night. So it kind of brings in a few of the features that um, are in the iOS 14. So here I'm in one of our uh, planners, the Pinterest planner, and I'm going to go to fall. I just decorated my house for fall, so I've been working on this vision board. Um, and I'm going to show you a few of the things that they've added. So one of the biggest things that they've added um, is the ability to be able to draw shapes in GoodNotes. Now, they had the feature somewhat up here whenever you clicked on the shapes icon, but this happens whenever you're just in regular pen writing mode. You can draw a circle and hold and it'll make a circle. You can draw a square and hold. And if you hold and then drag, you can make it bigger. So let's try a triangle. If you hold and then you make that side bigger, make it more even. If you're wanting to change the whole dimension everywhere, you'll just take your lasso tool, circle it, resize, and you can always make your size changes there. Um, another thing that they have allowed to, us to do is um, do curved lines, which I really, really like. So say I just love this um, leaf arrangement here. So I can draw a curve, kind of put it where I want it, and then I can zoom in and I can do this and it'll straighten out my lines for an arrow. So I've got a cute little arrow, whatever shape and stuff that I want. And then I can just write in here um, what I like about this. And I could put like a big circle right here. Um, let's see. Okay, so if you want to take this feature off, you can hold down on the pen icon up here. Hit draw and hold and you can toggle this off. Or you can toggle like the fill color off. So if you want that off before, let me show you what it looks like before. So if you draw a circle before it would automatically fill it with this um, lighter color. But if I go in and I toggle that off and you're wanting to make a circle, this is uh, clear. Can you see that? That's clear. Ah, there we go. Okay, so this one's clear and then that one's filled. So you can change that. Um, another thing that I really, really like about this feature is it brings the drawing back. So back in GoodNotes 4, we could draw with the highlighter tool and then that went away in GoodNotes 5, but in GoodNotes 5.6, they've brought that feature back. So you can draw with your highlighter, which I think is really, really cool because sometimes you just want that highlighter effect, the, just the lighter um, effect of that. So, so I love the ability to be able to use the highlighter to draw your shapes as well. Another one of the new features that they've added is with the text box. So there's a couple different things here um, with the new iOS 14 that I want to show you that I am super excited about. Um, so you can hit the text box and then you can hit, they got a new text box um, toolbar up here and you can write. So you can click the text box, click anywhere on your screen and you can write um, amazing and it will convert it to text really, really quick without having to lasso anything and then wait for it to convert and all that. If you click the text box and then you just write, right? So you have to click somewhere wherever you wanna write and then you write right next to the blue box. So um, clean house, you can do separate words. It reads messy handwriting, it's amazing. And then the new toolbar, um, allows you to just click just one time and it doesn't bring the keyboard up and then you can change um, what font you want it to look like. You can change the size really easily. Um, this is kind of a fun new feature. You can put a color background behind it. 
So if we wanted to change this to gray or change the text to white and then have this, um, you could have even boxes. So it'd be kind of um, a new look. So say if we wanted to copy this, hold down and paste, and then we could just make our own little thing here. Um, let's hold down and paste again. Whoops, nope. Okay, and then you could click on these to change what they say. So let's uh, do groceries and um, highlight all this and then do check mail and then you could have your little list here which I think is really really fun and then they also if you have the little thing um, toggled on with the line through it that means it's gonna put no background behind it it's gonna take the background off so if we were to um, select one of these go to the text box and select one of these and then do the little slash it would take that off so that's super fun. And then you can also favor it. You can save as the default um, that if you really like a certain style that you have. So that is really cool. I love the ability to just write and then it will type everything up. You can do that in mail and messages. I'm going to be doing a video talking all about the new iOS 14 update, but it is super, super cool. We're really excited about that. And then one other thing that you can do is while you're drawing your shapes, you can always add to your shapes. And they show you on this on the intro video what this is. So if you draw a circle, then you can draw from line to line and it'll straighten everything up and connect it to where it will just be one shape. So then if you circle it, it's all one shape put together. So your strokes can connect. And then again, I think I already showed this, but if you draw a square and then you want to, um, my squares are all turning out wonky. If you draw a square, select it with your finger and it brings up all of your um, things. If you wanna change the shape of it one way or another, it will bring up all the things. And if you wanna change the shape of everything at one time, you'd wanna use a lasso tool, circle it, and resize, and it'll move everything at once. So hopefully this video really helps you to understand what is new in GoodNotes 5.6. Again, I did have two videos go out today, so if you've watched one, you haven't watched this one yet, so definitely watch this one if you're interested. Um, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell to be notified of our new videos. Leave a comment below telling me what your new favorite feature is of this GoodNotes 5.6 or the iOS 14 update. Smash that like button if you enjoyed this video and we'll catch you on the next one. Happy planning.